Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You have a decision, somebody here is going to have a decision to make or something could possibly happen at your job um, that, you know, is going to make you leave that job. Okay, so this definitely isn't for all of you. But I feel like um, there's somebody here behind the scenes at your job that's doing something sneaky, okay? Um, and I just want to clarify it. So anyway, I'm doing like an extended part two on this one. Um, it's from the um, God wants you to have this. You deserve it. Okay, um, that reading. All right. So yeah, you may want to watch part one. Yep, see, on all of these opportunities are opening up for you. Spirit is saying you've got something better coming. Okay, so what I'm picking up on is a person who, whoever you are, you're in a job that really doesn't pay you a lot to begin with. You work really super hard, okay? This is, this is just um, um, recapping from the video on YouTube, okay? You work really hard, but, you know, by the time you get done paying for your rent, your food, your uh, bills, everything else, you know, you only still have two pentacles left, no matter how hard you're working, okay? Um, and I did pick up on an energy that could be trying to, like, cheat you out of some kind of money, okay? Someone at work, like, um, they're doing something sneaky with your paychecks. So I feel like they're, they're shortchanging you. They're breadcrumbing you here, okay? And they're kind of getting away with it up until now. Spirit's going to let you know. They're going to show you, okay, what's been being done behind the scenes. But I'm also picking up on somebody who could be already planning to fire you or let you go, lay you off from this job. But they've been keeping it a secret. And that's about to come out. So, you you know, you're going to be shown some new doors of, of opportunity opening up, just flying open for you. Okay, collective. Um, and a part of you is going to be nervous to take one of those opportunities. This is going to give you anxiety. Okay. Um, if you're getting fired or let go from a job, laid off, um, that's going to give you anxiety. But Spirit is saying there's better things coming in for you, okay? Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But I want to take a look at this sneaky person. This could be somebody who's been planning, plotting, strategizing at your job. This could even be someone who is trying to get you in trouble at your job, okay? Now, you're not going to, for whoever this is going to resonate with, and it's not going to be for all of you, but that job is coming to an end. It's, it, and you may be picking up on that energy. Yeah, this is somebody who's betraying you behind the scenes, and they've done it a lot. This could be a, a manager or a boss, or it could even be a coworker just saying nasty things about you behind, behind your back because I'm seeing other people watching over this, like vultures. Like just uh, somebody is like waiting for, for this job to come to an end or um, they're taking something out of your pay. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles energy, I'm telling you, they're taking money from you. Okay, for whoever this is, and you're unaware of it, you, you're just trying to make it month to month, you know, that's kind of what it is, and you're, you're barely scraping by by the time you get done paying for your rent or your food, you got two pentacles left, that's barely enough to make it, okay, or, um, or this is what people are taking from you. Like maybe they're charging you for something over and over and over again. But they're, they're taking your pentacle. Okay? They're taking your pentacle. And this is people that you work for. So I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But it's like, a, it's, like it's something that they've been planning. Okay? 
And honestly, they keep showing me like somebody smiling about it. Um, I feel like that's that's the what they're showing me is the Seven of Swords in this deck. Okay, so that may come out in this reading. But yeah, and here's the thing: you're like you do everything there. You work so hard. You know, um, they could have told you recently, like, oh, we need you to do more work and meet a new quota, right? And work as hard and as fast as you can, knowing the whole time that they're already planning on laying you off that job or something like that. Or they want you to work overtime, because um, I'm seeing somebody possibly working overtime day and night, okay? knowing full well that they're taking advantage of you right now and you could be let go from this job. I mean, this person, I don't know who this is. I feel like it could be a boss, a business owner, you know, but they're doing something shady at your job for whoever this is for. Not for all of you, right? I feel like spirit is telling you they've been urging you to go in a different direction, possibly for a long time. This could be something that, like an idea that you've been um, thinking about, kind of mulling over in your head for months, okay? Um, maybe you found out about um, a new opportunity someplace else, someplace that requires travel. You could be thinking about changing your life altogether, moving away, getting a new job. I'm kind of feeling like this empress is sitting here, um, mulling over her future, right? Thinking about her future and where she wants to be in the future. Kind of doing some daydreaming, but creating a new idea, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about traveling, leaving, going somewhere else. I feel like you're, you have not been happy with your job. I feel like it's just kind of, it feels like a struggle sort of energy. And you know that, um, you know that you're being called to do something bigger. You're being, you were born for bigger things, collective, okay, than to be toiling away at something that is not going to pay off and not give you what you need to survive even. You know, and life isn't about survival, okay? It's really not. Life is meant for living. Uh, life is meant for experiencing everything that it has to offer. Not just scraping by and wondering where you're going to get your next piece of bread to eat. You know what I mean? And just going to work, working as hard as you can, working day and night, I feel like there has to be more, and that's what you're thinking. There's got to be more in my future than this. Meanwhile, you've got people behind the scenes trying to knock you back down. I mean, the people, whoever this is that you're working for, it's a manager, something like that. They're betraying you over and over and over again. And they know that you're already working for peanuts, and they all they know that you're shining at your job, like you're really good at what you do, but um, they know that they're, they're breadcrumbing you. They know they're taking from you. I don't know what they're doing. Um, I don't know what they're making. They could be making you pay for something over and over again, or they could be like, I don't know. Um, Maybe they're, I don't know, not counting your hours correctly, something like that. But you've got bigger dreams, Collective, and I feel like Spirit has bigger things for you. Yeah, Chariot Energy, you could be an Aquarius, you could be a Cancer, a Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, look, and that's what they showed me, the Seven of Swords in this deck, that's what I said. That is what they showed me. This person's nasty little sneaky smiling face. Like they know what they're doing this to you. They, they know what they're doing. You know, they're being sneaky about it. They think they can get away with it. Okay? 
I feel like you're going to end up um, leaving or, you know, if this is, if you are getting laid off, you may end up leaving before they have a chance to lay you off. That's, that's the funny part because I feel like you've already been contemplating this. It's making you nervous. It's causing you anxiety. You know, it's making you nervous. You're making a big life change here. But um, I feel like you're doing it. You're doing it. You know, the chariot energy, that's moving forward. That's moving on. That's being put through a battle and done with it and taking control, okay? I, I feel like, um, and it's being determined or uh, determination. Yeah, being absolutely determined. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like you're going to see that somebody was pulling a fast one here. They were being tricky. They were being sneaky. They um, have the power to get, um, get away with it. And I feel like th this is what you're going to find something out. I feel like it's a boss doing this to you. And I feel like they're making some kind of profit off of it. So they're, they're either keeping some money, like they're not paying you for all of the hours that you put in. They're not giving you, maybe they're having you work overtime, but it's, they're not paying you what they should for it. Okay, and I feel like it's just done. You find out about this and that's the last straw. Um, I'm getting that you're gonna um, leave this situation behind. As soon as you find out that there was something tricky going on, because there definitely is. Oh, there, somebody's being very sneaky here. There may be a couple of people working together. You know, planning, plotting, strategizing against you together. They may even offer you, like, um, they may not want you to, they may not want you to leave, you know? I mean, either they're letting you go, or they, they um, want to keep you there making peanuts. Yeah, look, you get, you're having a new beginning, Collective, okay? <laughs> you are. Um, you may be leaving somebody behind at the job that's going to be kind of sad, a little bit emotional that you're leaving. It could be a friend at work. Okay, but you're taking this new beginning and you're running with it and it's going to, this wheel is going to start turning for you, okay? And when that wheel turns, it opens up a way for all of your blessings to come in, all right? Think of it as like a mechanism, all right? And so, yeah, you're, you're about to have a new beginning. I feel like, you know, when you leave that building or when you leave your job, um, you may not know what direction you're taking right away, but it's going to be a brighter day at that point. You know, look at how you, how you come forward here in your chariot. All of the clouds clear away, and it's a much brighter day. It's going to feel really good going to feel good collective i feel like this is something that you've been thinking about doing anyway for a long time like you're just not able to make it at this job you know they don't pay you enough and they're shortchanging you somehow you're going to realize it you could be a cancer you could be a Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. Yeah, you're leaving. And here's the thing. I feel like you've been thinking about making a location change for a long time as well. You know, this represents to me a lot of travel. Okay. So, um, yeah, and I feel like there you go. You, you like pack a bag. You take this new beginning that you've got, right? You're free. You, take, you have a new beginning in your hand, and you may actually move. You may move from like a, a country area, a rural area, into a, a city, a town, because there may be more job opportunities there, something. You know, and the sky is still yellow, very bright. 
Okay, I feel like yeah, and it, it's gonna it's gonna bring you to a victory. I'm telling you. Oh, collective. Yes, you're gonna start building a money tree. You're gonna start rebuilding your finances, possibly doing something creative. Look at how happy you are doing this job. Okay. Look at that. It's going to lead you to a victory, collective. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, spirit is, is saying here with judgment. I feel like spirit saying, look, you've had, you've had a lot of time in the Ten of Wands, carrying a lot of burdens. Um, to the point where you're kind of battered, you know, um, you're weary from life, right? A wounded warrior. So spirit now is giving you your nine of cups. That's wish fulfillment. And what that tells me is that you've got, you've got wish, this is wish fulfillment. You're about to be super happy and very abundant, okay? The only thing you don't have here is one cup, and that's a love offer. So I feel like, um... Yeah, you're going to be living a wish-fulfilled life from this point on. This opportunity, man, take it and run with it, collective. Run with it. And just, I feel like you're rebuilding here. You're creating a new future for yourself. You're painting on a fresh canvas. This is, this is like, this is you starting something new, learning something new, creating something new. Yeah, this is you following that dream. Look, Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like you're about to find someone new, uh, a new love, a new soulmate connection, wherever it is that you're going as well. So you're about to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? Elsewhere. I really just wanted to clarify what this was. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're going to find out. Somebody's been tricky. They've been sneaky. They've been holding back some kind of pay from you. Um, they're getting away with it. Here's the thing. You're going to allow, I feel like you may allow them to just get away with it. Because right now, all you want to do is follow your dream. You have this dream, this fantasy about leaving leaving it all behind and starting new and getting a new job in a new place, okay? And that's all that you're going to see this more as an opportunity to leave that job behind and follow your dreams, okay? Um, and man, I love you for that. Seriously, it, it, just because you're taking that risk on yourself, you're believing in yourself, your abilities, your dreams, you're believing that spirit has better for you out there. There's got to be better than, than what you had, okay? And so all of that, the, the belief in everything, I'm telling you, you're absolutely right. It brings you to this. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Yes, and that is the truth. And it's going to be happening really fast, okay? really fast and i feel like you leave their karma up to the divine you see this as an opportunity and you focus your attention on that dream on that wish and you get it yeah and i feel like you leave them behind and you never talk to these people again <laughs> you never talk to them again but here's the thing um after you're gone, I feel like spirit does wrangle these people. They tie them up by their ankles <laughs> and they make them see, they make them notice um, that things aren't the same without you there, okay? Um, that uh, they, they just make them learn a lesson here. They make them see a lot about what they've done, but they'll be stuck. Okay, and you'll be moving on into this beautiful, beautiful wish fulfillment. Oh, I absolutely love this for you guys. I'm so glad I decided to do this. 
Um, yeah, I'm like, you know, something just is off. I, I needed to check out um, who this person was that was doing sneaky things behind your back. Yeah, and you know what? I feel like, too, someone may, may want to talk to you. Okay, I don't know. They may even say, oh, you still owe us for this, or you still owe us for that, or you need to fill out an exit interview, right? Whatever that is, you know, they're just going to want to cause some kind of chaos. They may even call you to, like, um, argue with you about something. This is what you're leaving behind. All you're leaving behind really is, a, an, is kind of an angry, bitter, page of swords, five of wands kind of energy. I feel like they want to cause you some kind of chaos and drama afterwards. Um, but you know what? I you know it's just unacceptable. You're you're going to be t having too much to focus on. Too many good things and too many changes to focus on. Man, you're getting ready to um, to follow your dreams. Spirit has heard you. Um, whenever you sat here and you thought to yourself, oh, wouldn't it be nice to get away? Oh, wouldn't it be nice to just move somewhere else and get a job somewhere else? Spirit heard that. The universe heard you. You're very tapped in. You're very tapped into the universe. So spirit was like, okay, we're going to align everything for the collective and make it so that their wishes come true. And your wishes are coming true here. <laughs> I love that. I love that collective. So get ready. I, I know um, it's kind of a quick reading, but let's see what else spirit has for you, okay? <laughs> yeah. Either way, no matter whether you decide to leave the job yourself or whether you're let go, you're going to be able to follow your dreams. And that's, that's the beauty of it, right? Spirit has found, they, they've aligned everything so perfectly that no matter what, you get your wish. Yep, look, new beginnings on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I'm getting the chills. I cannot make it up. You are going to be thrilled. You're going you're gonna to feel free. You're going to be able to release this past crap and let in all of this new beautiful stuff, okay? All because you love yourself. See, um, you're leaving whether, whether, no matter what happens, you're making like a choice to leave, actually, okay? And it's because you have self-respect. You love yourself and you want more for yourself, and you know there's more out there for you. So, yeah, you're trusting. Oh, oh, you're trusting. And spirits got you protected. This could worry you. It could. You know, it could worry you. It could give you some anxiety. What's, what's going to happen next? Am I going to make it? Spirits got you. They're telling you that you, in fact, are very protected. Okay, very protected. Yeah, look at you. Um, yeah, you manifested a lot of abundance here. The queen of the moon. Oh, man, that's some intense power. All you have to do is trust. Trust and accept that spirit has, look, has way better for you. Okay? Oh, my gosh. And it's all got all of this abundance is going to flow through. Also, Spirit wants you to know that just trust. They will give you all that you need to make this transition. Okay, you're going from, from like a job that didn't hardly pay you anything into a lot of riches, a lot of abundance. Okay, but during that transition, Spirit's going to give you everything that you need. Okay, they're going to give you everything that you need. Just watch. You know, and so sorry about that, Collective. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that was all of the messages. Okay, yeah, and release ends up on the bottom of the deck. So something is definitely over here. It's a cycle that's closing out. This has everything to do with uh, what you do for work. Um, your job, okay, and the way that your life is changing. And that means leaving something behind that's really no longer serving you. It really isn't, okay? 
Um, so yeah, just, um, just know spirit's going to provide for you and they're leading you right into all of this success. Okay. <laughs> I totally love this for you. For whoever this is for, you so deserve this. Okay. Um, anyway, thank you so much, you guys. Now I and now now it just feels complete. Okay. I just wanted I don't usually do that. I don't usually do part twos, but I felt like I had to with this one. <laughs>